Hi, Mr. Richards here. In today's lesson and our objective is to subtract linear expressions. Our real world link is dog sledding. The Iditarod is a dog sledding race over 1,150 miles across Alaska. The table shows two winning times. Race one was nine days, 11 hours, 46 minutes and 48 seconds. Race two was nine days, five hours, eight minutes, 41 seconds. What is the difference in hours, minutes, and seconds between the two races? Well, in our seconds, 48 minus 41 gets us seven seconds. 46 minus eight is 38 minutes. And 11 hours minus five hours is six hours. So explain how you could find the difference in times between any two races given the days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Well, what we really did here is we subtracted like units. We subtracted the seconds from the seconds, the minutes from the minutes, the hours from the hours, and well, the days from the days, nine minus nine was zero, so we had zero for days. And the key here is we kept the labels, so keep the labels of hours, minutes, and seconds. Describe another situation in which finding the difference involves subtracting like units. Well, here we had time, and another way is to think about, uh, say, baking. And we could say to compare the ingredient amounts in a recipe you could compare cups of flour and say teaspoons, that's a different unit involving measurement of vanilla in two different recipes. Now, to subtract linear expressions, we're going to still subtract like terms, and we have that note about using zero pairs. And what we can see in the model here, we have 6x plus 3 in the first part here, and subtracting 2x plus 2. Well, we're subtracting 2x and we're subtracting a positive 2 and we're left with 4x plus 1. Now it gets a little bit more complicated when we're subtracting with negatives. We have the 2x plus a negative 3 instead of minus 3. And we're going to remove an x and remove two of those negative 2s. Or two of the negative 1s, which is negative 2, to get x minus 1. Now, subtract, use models if needed. Well, let's set this up in columns here. If we have our 5x minus 9, and we're going to subtract the entire 2x minus 7. One way of doing this is to change our subtraction to addition. Well, how do we do that? We'll keep the 5x minus 9. And we're going to, just like with integers, when we keep, change, opposite, well, we're keeping the top group. We changed our subtraction to addition. And now we're going to have to change the 2x and the negative 7 into opposites. So the opposite of 2x is negative 2x. And the opposite of minus 7 is plus 7. And now what we can just add like we've been practicing. We have a negative 9 plus 7. Well, that results in minus 2 or negative 2. And then 5x plus negative 2x is a positive 3x. So our solution is 3x minus 2. What about our next one in B? 
where we have 6x minus 10 minus 2x minus 8. Well, once again, if we change the subtraction into addition, we would keep the 6x minus 10 and change the 2x into a negative 2x and the minus 8 into a plus 8. Keep, change opposite again. So negative 10 plus 8 is a negative 2, so minus 2. And 6x plus negative 2x is 4x. So here we get 4x minus 2. Now we have negative 2x minus 4 minus just 2x. And you can see how it was modeled in the picture. We have negative 2x and 4 negative 1s. Then they used 0 pairs here to subtract out a positive 2x. If I want to subtract out a positive 2x, I have to bring in another negative 2x in order to cancel things out. So I'm just left with a negative 4x minus 4. That's how we would do it using algebra tiles. Let's see how we would do it using our columns again. We have 3x minus 2 minus 5x minus 4. Once again, if I change the subtraction into addition, I'm going to keep the first term, 3x minus 2, the first set of terms, and then take the opposite. The opposite of 5x is negative 5x. And the opposite of minus 4 is plus 4. So now, negative 2 plus a positive 4 is a positive 2. And 3x plus negative 5x is negative 2x. So negative 2x plus 2. What about d? Well, if we line these up in our columns again, we would have 4x minus 4 minus a negative 2x plus 2. Well, once again, if I change the subtraction into addition, I keep the top part, 4x minus 4. And the bottom part, the opposite of negative 2x, is a positive 2x. The opposite of plus 2 is minus 2. So now, negative 4 plus negative 2 is negative 6, or minus 6. And this part looks pretty straightforward. 4x plus 2x is 6x. So 6x minus 6. Now these next few examples are actually a little bit more complicated where drawing models would have been very difficult. We've been using the additive inverse so far where when subtracting integers add the opposite or the additive inverse. The same process is used when subtracting linear expressions and we've been doing that and here's two examples on how you can. Notice the 6x plus 5 stayed. They changed the subtraction to addition, and the opposite of 3x was negative 3x, and the opposite of plus 1 was minus 1. And 5 plus negative 1 was a positive 4. 6x plus negative 3x was just 3x. And you can see that here in number 5 as well. So now, as we continue practicing these more difficult questions, we would have 4x minus 3 minus 2x plus 7. Well, if we change this subtraction into an addition, we keep the first one, 4x minus 3. The opposite of a positive 2x is a negative 2x, and the opposite of a plus 7 is minus 7. So now negative 3 plus negative 7 is negative 10. 4x plus negative 2x is 2x. So 2x minus 10. 
And in F, we have 5x minus 4 minus 2x plus 3. Well, if we change our subtraction into addition, we keep the top 5x minus 4. The opposite of 2x is negative 2x. The opposite of plus 3 is minus 3. And now we follow our integer rules. Negative 4 plus 3, negative 3, is negative 7. And 5x plus negative 2x is 3x. So 3x minus 7. And now when we look at our real world problem, a hat store tracks the sale of college and professional team hats for M months. The number of college hats sold is represented by 6M plus 3. The number of professional hats sold is represented by 5M minus 2. Or, yeah, minus 2. Write an expression to show how many more college hats were sold than professional hats. Well, we need to use subtraction here. We'll get to the last part of the question in a moment. We'll set this up as 6M plus 3 minus 5M minus 2. And so if we carry this into our columns, 6m plus 3 minus 5m minus 2. Same process is here. Change your subtraction into addition. 6m plus 3 plus the opposite of 5m is negative 5m, and the opposite of minus 2 is plus 2. So 3 plus 2 is 5, and 6m plus negative 5m is m. So our expression is m plus 5. Now, evaluate the expression of m equals 10. Well, put in 10 for m. 10 plus 5, and that's going to equal 15. So our answer, 15 more college team hats were sold. That is it for this lesson. Good luck.